ever wanted to get up there and shave my body and what I call get up in my underpants and pose. That's, that's, not, that's not me, I mean, I'm just like a country boy. And um, one day I seen a post and it said natural bodybuilding and it just clicked. It's an orgy of body tan and rippling muscles. Let them hear it, ladies and gentlemen. There is bodybuilding and fitness, and it is natural, and that this sport can grow in the territory, and that there are people that love the sport. This kind of muscle definition doesn't come easy. It involves complicated diets, a cocktail of supplements and a structured training regime. It, uh, it's one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do personally around children and, and, and working. Uh, you have to be totally focused and totally dedicated to diet and exercise. I used to do weights before I competed and that was more for work, for sport and you know, it has fringe benefits. Girls like you as well. Concreter by day, muscle man by night. At 44, Eric Cartwright is a bodybuilding veteran. He says he's always enjoyed physical work. It shaves off time needed in the gym. Wheelbarrows, to me they're not heavy, but to other people they're heavy. They're heavier than they look, put it that way. Eric Cartwright says he's completely drug free and always has been. He's been in about 30 bodybuilding competitions, tasting national success. Before, my confidence came from drinking alcohol. And that, that was like, that's how I used to dance or talk to girls, I'd drink. And then when I, I took up um, the bodybuilding and the stripping, or male dancing, what do you call it, I went the opposite. I stopped drinking because I had to do it to be professional. I'll charge for it, I'll really tense up and I'll stop. And then I've got to look for my target. A few days Bombs before the competition, the one-time stripper puts the final touches on his performance music. I am Cyborg, sent by Blue Scope. If it's not yet Mission obvious, target. Eric Cartwright's on-stage character WNBF. is a cyborg. That now sounds a bit like... I am Cyborg, sent by... A lot of my family, my nieces and nephews are going to come and watch me. And they, you know, they look at me as if I'm you know, the Terminator and stuff. So for me to come out and do a cyborg... It's for them. Across town at the Charles Darwin University gym, Carolyn Maxted is pumping iron and is totally focused on her goal. Oh, some days I really struggle. Today's one of them. She's dedicating her performance to her sister, who died from skin cancer in August last year. I'm sure I'll be on that stage alone. Um, with every chin up that I had to push my way through, with every piece of broccoli I had to try and swallow or egg white, I know it's still over there going. So yeah, it's it's um she definitely will be there in spirit. And a bit of banana cake? Oh, I'd love a bit of banana cake, but no, not at the moment. Hopefully next week I'll be able to get some banana cake. Carolyn Maxted's motto is stay fit, don't eat rubbish. Her life is a delicate balancing act. It helps that her day job is as a fitness instructor. But there are also family responsibilities. This day's week was too tired and just the thought of having to get up and go to the gym and lift another weight was just really hard. Um, but other things, probably more so, is diet, where I'm preparing food for everyone else and then have to sit down and eat my broccoli and chicken. Well, I've just prepared a lovely meal or be strong enough for everybody else. One's with ticket, one to 50 are VIP. I've got little things from. They are the only ones that can sit in the blue seats, all right? A big crowd, 22, and even this fit body, 2007. What is 
building was received at the drugstore. So trying to get sponsorship was hard. Uh, trying to give out the word that there is a National Bodybuilding Fitness Federation was, was uh, difficult. But at the end of the day, the stage is for our competitors. It's their day. After the group contest, the individual groups meet have a chance for the competitors to work the crowd. Thank you. 